Graham cracker pudding is a very interesting recipe, mainly because it takes the word pudding very liberally in this sense. Because whenever you think of pudding, you think of those little snack pack cups. Well, as you're going to see with this recipe, and as I did after it was done, this is very loosely a pudding, and I would almost say it's more of a bread. But either way, come join me. As this week on Grandma's Cookbook, we make... Graham cracker pudding. Into a bowl, we'll add one cup of sugar. To that, six tablespoons of soft butter. Then add two well-beaten eggs and one cup of milk. Set that aside. And then you're going to want to get exactly 22 graham crackers. Um, I wasn't a little unsure as to what constituted one graham cracker because if you look at them, they're split in half, and then those halves are split into halves again. But, but going by what was listed on the box, half of one sheet is two crackers. So I went with 11 graham cracker sheets. Put those into a bag and then crush them however you want to. I just use my hands. Once properly crushed, you're going to dump those into the bowl and then add four teaspoons of baking powder and a half cup of chopped nuts, whichever ones you want to do. It didn't specify. I had almonds on hand, so I used those. Then you will mix those all together into a, I guess, a slurry. Or maybe this is what they meant by the pudding. Either way, you're going to dump that into a, it says 8x8 greased pan. I didn't have an 8x8, but I used what I had on hand. Then you will bake that in your oven for 30 minutes at 325 to 350 degrees. I went with 350 for 30 minutes. And voila, your baked, in quotes, pudding. How does it taste? I decided to try it right when it came out of the oven, and that was probably not the most ideal time to do it because it just tasted like hot. But after it cooled, it was pretty nice. But if I had to compare it to just plain old graham crackers, I think I would just eat those instead. Either way, thank you all for watching. Go out and enjoy some graham cracker pudding yourself, or just have graham crackers that are pretty good on their own. Either way, thank you all for watching, and we will see you next week on another edition of Grandma's Cookbook.